Today we will be discussing molarity, and what molarity is, is the chemist's alternative to how we calculate concentration. Concentration is very important. Most of the reactions that occur in lab are going to be in the liquid state, so knowing exactly how much of each chemical is in a particular sample is extraordinarily important. And the reason we use molarity for our unit of concentration is because it makes it easier to actually calculate how much is in it, because we designed it and so it is purpose built. And molarity is going to be a really simple calculation for us. We have capital M that is short for molar or molarity, and all of our molarities are going to be moles of solute per liters of solvent. Now the words that are new here are solute versus solvent, and that is just going to be uh, just a really quick and easy definition to keep those straight in your mind. So again, we have capital M being molarity. Um, most of the time, even though molarity is measured in moles per liter, we're too lazy to write out moles per liter. And so instead, we'll attach a capital M as the unit on the end of our concentrations. And you're just expected to know that a capital M means moles per liter. Solute is going to be whatever you have less of. It's generally the thing that's getting dissolved into the liquid. And how I remember that solute is the thing that I have less of is literally that the word solute is just slightly shorter than the word solvent, okay? Solvent is one more letter and I have more of my solvent. That's what makes it my solvent. Whereas my solute is whatever I have less of. It's generally going to be the thing that's measured in grams, it's going to be measured in moles, it's going to be whatever I am dissolving into the solvent, and normally we will see that our solvent is going to be water. So now we're going to look at a natural problem that we could possibly see from molarity, and here we see um, that we need to calculate the molarity of a solution that contains 3.64 moles of sodium chloride in two liters of water, okay? I can already see which one's gonna be my solute versus which one is going to be my solvent just because of the units that they're presented in. So I see moles, which is what my solute will always be measured in, and liters, which is what my solvent will be measured in. So you can go ahead and plug it into my molarity calculator or my molarity equation and since I'm solving for molarity and this equation is already solved for molarity, I don't need to rearrange it in any way. So I can just go ahead and use it how it is. I went ahead and I underlined everything in the actual problem with the color that corresponded to which part uh, of the equation it actually belonged to. So that makes it even easier when I go ahead and plug everything in to my equation. So I have 3.64 moles. This is my solute, okay? And since my solute is sodium chloride, this is what I'm actually going to keep. I'm gonna keep that sodium chloride because it's important to know what the solution is made of, whereas the solvent is less important. I don't necessarily care about what it is dissolved in because normally whatever it is dissolved in is not part of any reaction, so I don't identify that. So I have my moles of solute, I have my solute uh, compound off to the side, and then I have my liters of solvent. Whenever I divided 3.64 by 2, the number that I got was 1.82 moles per liter sodium chloride. Remember, I could either have moles per liter or I could have a large capital M um, as my molarity. And we kept sodium chloride because it's my solute. And my solute is the thing that's going to be involved in any reaction. So it's the only thing that I actually care about.